show you guys my uh, new script for uh, Grimsel. I had a script already. It's been outdated for a while. And I keep, kept on uh, not getting around to it, but I uh, finally did. So... Uh, someone requested that I add translations so uh, you can actually change language in this script. <clears throat> to, uh, to one of the ones that's available in the menu. But uh, we're going to start with uh, the crafting and building menu. Free crafting. One I'm going to show you first. And that unlocks everything in the crafting menu here. Uh, certain items I don't think have actually been added to the game. I'm not 100% sure. Like this one. It, it uh, added a empty barrel. And there are a few items like that. <clears throat> Uh, most are towards the end. I think the carriage also does that same thing. But other stuff is working as it should. Excuse me. Mm. All right. So that's the crafting menu. Um, and then there's uh, building as well. Which you, know, you have to have uh, materials to build. I'm going to throw those out. As you can see, not enough materials. Go to the crafting and building menu. Rebuilding. You can also upgrade for free. So that's rebuilding. All right. So that's a free building menu, as I was saying. Sorry, my family uh, can't shut up in the background in case uh, you're wondering what all the noise is. Anyway, so. See what's next. Let's see. Instant workbench crafting. So I'll make a I'll make the well. take some time uh, to complete, so six minutes. Uh, I'm going to show you while we're here how you can get uh, full stacks of water quickly. So I just went to the inventory menu <clears throat> and I uh, enabled the full stacks option. And then I will go to uh, the crafting and building menu and enable instant workbench crafting. 
as you can see. Get it full stacks of water. It takes like a second for each stack. All right. So, uh, unlimited workbench fuel. Uh, that's for like if something uh, requires something to burn, like a. to build uh, stables and here you can see it says assemble and you normally have to add all the parts so we're gonna go to crafting and building again assemble with no parts Now, to get your horse easily, go to Travel and Map, press Add All Events to Map, and then Instant Walk Travel. Head out of the uh, area. So now, you can see a lot of the developers test areas here and you'll see test horse. Enter there. And the only thing you'll find in this area is uh, horses. So press your sneak button. And then uh, interact with one of the horses. So now I've got my horse, and then uh, next I'm going to try to uh, show you the wolf pup customizer thing here, but first we're going to have to uh, build a dire wolf pen. video here in a minute after I find myself a, a pup. So I found a wolf pup and back at my base. Uh, 
First thing I'm going to do, go to inventory, duplicate single items. I'm going to duplicate that a few times. Pup customizer set age Make adult set gender Make male set rarity Make legendary set color and mind you this is just what I'm picking you you can pick whatever you want try to go smoother done configuring give it a second. All right, now send one to the pen. There we go, male, legendary, ghost blue. All right, and if you can see down here, <clears throat> I've got the energy set to 65,000. Uh, if you restart the game before you go anywhere or do anything, uh, go to the stats menu and set it back to 65,000 again uh, and then you'll have a bunch of energy still if you don't set it first it will revert to its uh, normal maximum so uh, and if you want you can go back here and change stuff and Legendary female light wolf. All right. <clears throat> so that is the wolf customizer. Uh, we did crafting and building. Uh, just a minute and we'll continue. Okay. <clears throat> so now, I'll show you a couple other things. So, normally you have to have a hardy horse, so level 20 or higher. I don't know if you actually can go higher than 20, but you have to have a level 20 horse to get to certain areas. So I go to travel and map, uh, set horse to level 20, and now you can access this area. And you can also walk there instantly, which is what makes the most sense to do. And now I'll show you, let's see. There you have it, enabled. All right, so go to dungeon and farming. And I'll show you the this part of this real quick. Uh, enemies cannot target. <clears throat> so there's this, and there's also passive mode. They're a little different. This one is the one you want if uh, if you want to be able to kill enemies while you're running around farming. Uh, they won't be able to target you. Uh, with ranged or melee attacks, but uh, if they have a area of effect attack like some of the bosses, they can kill you still. So don't get too close to them. But uh, so right now I got the regular crossbow. It takes a second to reload. It doesn't hit super hard. All right. Go to stats and perks. crossbow damage and then also increase attack speed all right Normally, 
take some time to unlock the chest there. So we're gonna go to dungeon and farming. Unlock all containers. And they instantly open. Alright, now if you're trying to stock up on some stuff, again, we're going to go back to dungeon and farming. Full stacks. Now you got stacks of 20 of everything in every container and in of, of everything in your inventory. All right, <clears throat> let's see. So I'm gonna head down to a dungeon. Traveling map. <sighs> anyway, I had to pause it because my family's being louder and more obnoxious. So, added everything to the map. There are the dungeon is. Okay. I haven't completed normal mode, so normally heroic would be locked like this. Unlock. Enter. you go up to this entrance without that menu open like this now you have a menu where you can select the level <clears throat> if you eat food or drink something while you have uh, the uh, full stacks enabled it ends up giving you a full stack of empty bottles or barrels so you know so, uh, with what I have set on right now, this boss can kill me. So I'm just going to shoot him as soon as he's in range. <laughs> there we go. And, uh, skill books uh, also enable this uh, full stacks and then you can read the same book 
until you're at the maximum it will allow you. So here you see the dungeon door is still locked. Go to the dungeon and farming menu. Unlock dungeon doors. Alright. Um, here I'll show you. Here. So if you want to farm stuff from the dungeons, I think that the quickest way to do it is to use the, uh, the test locations. So this will bring you right into the dungeon instead of having to go into an entrance area and then in. Now I left uh, unlocked doors enabled. So if all you want is to farm stuff from chests, leave unlocked doors. Run straight in. You'll hit the chest. Open it. Take whatever you want. Run back out. <clears throat> and to get the dungeon to reset, all you got to do is go to a different location real quick. And then go back. And you can repeat this as many times as you want. <clears throat> New chests, new items. Alright. Go in and out of here one more time. Gonna do, uh... I'm gonna disable unlock dungeon doors. I'm gonna disable the enemies cannot target. I'm gonna show you the uh, passive mode one instead. Now with the passive mode one, you take no damage at all. Uh, the enemies try to attack you and then they'll get frozen. So don't don't go to a level and like stand in the doorway because you might block your doorway. So you attack me once. That's all. And uh, same thing, you know, if you want to farm chests or whatever. But that is what the passive mode is. Um, let's see. Stats and perks. Uh, max all skills. So for max all skills, these are your skills. As you can see, I only have, like, one of the special ones at the moment. So, go to stats and perks. Max all skills. So that maxes them all out. You have to run this uh, again uh, if you restart the game. Because they don't, doesn't, changes don't persist, so... <clears throat> then I think I'm going to, uh, again, doors locked, unlock doors,
Wolves. Stats and perks menu and uh, do wolf damage. Oh, just a minute. Forgot to disable that. So, dungeon farming and disable passive mode. There we go. Now the wolf hits for 65,000. And he also has the 65,000 energy, so he'll keep going for quite a while. I'll show you. see it's a little under 65,000 so just make sure again when you restart your game you need to go to stats and perks and right here you see set max wolf energy to 65,000 you need to run that and do that before you do anything with the wolf and then you'll be able to keep having that amount of energy <clears throat> all right let's see what else we got uh other thing in inventory is uh, duplicate single items so that will make it so oh might have already did that actually anyways so let's duplicate single items in case we didn't but I'm pretty sure we did there you go all right <clears throat> I think that covers everything this is a long long ass video um, and that's the script for Grim Soul. Uh, if anybody's got any requests for things to add to the script, I'll see what I can do. No guarantees. Uh, access is available by subscription on my website, badcase.org. Have a good one, everybody.